morning everybody. I'm super pumped up today because today we are going to be shooting the What Vegans Eat in a Day video because we have taken you guys to the, to the grocery store. We bought the food. Now it's time to see exactly what order we eat the food and how we prepare it because information is power and this is really going to be a great day. High carbs. We're going to be high energy and we're just going to be feeling great. Yeah, from our grocery shops, there is method to the madness. We do eat our foods in a certain order. Like when we wake up, we like to have our fruits. Fruits in the mornings for about the first four to six hours. Then we move into the vegetables and the cooked starches, potatoes and rice. And I just want to say that every single morning, we start off with a big glass of fresh water. We're not talking none of that tap stuff. We're talking spring water or distilled water. I mean, whatever is clean and whatever is available to to you, but followed by that, it is every single day, it is a smoothie. Now, there's so many different kinds of fruit smoothies. Yeah, you can have berry smoothies, you can just, you know, orange juice, apple juice, just start with the fruit ju juice, and we find that best to get your digestive tract going in to get the body warmed up for the rest of the day. So this morning, boom, we have picked a berry smoothie. We got uh, raspberries, strawberries, um, blackberries. blackberries, we got our pieces of mango here, we got our pineapple, uh, we got our pears, our kiwis, and our bananas. Now, we did have blueberries, but you we all know how fast blueberries mold, so when I see mold, you got to go. So they, 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 didn't, they didn't compost. Yeah, more. we're one berry short here, but it's okay. We got everything else to mix in. So we're just going to start mixing it. We're going to throw everything in our, in our blender here and stir it up. This blender is completely topped off. There is no room for bananas, but there's always a trick. You, you can always blend it a bit, it'll always sink, and then you can add a bit more ingredients and top it all up. Yeah, so we're just gonna make sure we got some juice in here. You know, you can use water if you want, but you know, we like to add uh, juices, apple juices, you can use passion fruit juice, any kind of juice you want. So we're gonna blend it down here. Coconut water. Bananas! Would it be complete without a couple bananas? It really wouldn't. The essential sugars, you know? It's looking fantastic. I can't wait to have it. Now, we will top one of these things up every single morning, and we will split it every single day. And honestly, we could probably drink a little, little bit more. I do wish the uh, the blender uh, thing was a bit bigger, but, you know, we got to make do with, with, with uh, what we got. And sometimes we will actually even make a second blend. If we're sticking around the house and aren't out and about, we will actually just do the second one because it is so awesome and so ener energizing. And you gotta remember, you gotta take your time with this. You know, we're trying to get carved up for, the, for our whole morning. So, you know, it, we're, as you can see, two cups and we're not even down a little bit. This is gonna take about three cups each to finish. So, you know, it's gonna, and you also wanna take time for your body to, to get ready and digest it. So, you wanna sit there and actually chew your drink a little bit. And as you're drinking it, chew a little bit. And if you're on the go and you don't have the time to just sit around, grab a big to go cup with a big straw and just take it with you. We all know when you're driving around, you, you you can be sipping it, I mean, so just take it with you and take your time and enjoy. And I just wanted to add in, uh, you saw that we threw pears in there, and I find the pears really give the really give your smoothie a bit of grit, and it's a good chew, so it it, 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 it not only gives your flavor texture, but it, gives, it, it just reminds you to chew it up and break it down and get the enzymes from your mouth. Uh, get your digestive enzymes, your saliva going, we're ready to break it down and, and help your body digest it quickly so we can have our energy fast and quick in the morning. So there it is, we just 
finish that, no problem. I'm feeling great right now. I can feel that energy coming to me. It's time to go work out. Time to uh, use time to use some of this energy. Yeah, this is a perfect pre-workout for our workout. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go work out for the next half an hour, 45 minutes. I'm gonna have I'm gonna be full of energy and ready to roll. All right, so we'll see you guys in a couple hours for uh, for some more fruit. Uh, he means about an hour and 15 minutes. All right, guys, see you soon. All right, so the berry smoothie has been doing well to keep us high carb, high energy, but now it's time for another fruit meal. Now, now uh, at this point of the day, you are probably going to be outside of your house, maybe at work or running errands and stuff. So I'm going to say right now that Tupperware is definitely, definitely going to be your best friend here. So just put all your fruit into there and you can take it on the go. And, all, and also, if you don't want to have melons like we've chosen for our, for our fruit snack today, you can bring uh, bananas or apples. And these you don't even need Tupperware Bags for. Bags of grapes too. Yeah, you can just bring them with you and, and uh, unpeel it right there and start eating it. And But we have found that melons really work for us, whether it's a watermelon, a honeydew, or a cantaloupe, it really doesn't matter to us. All, mel all, all melons are great. And the best part is too, is that when you cut open a melon, there's always so much of it. So this is what we've chosen today. Let's dig in. Mm. So we're done our melons. Let me say right now, those were two delicious melons right there. And I just want to say that uh, you don't necessarily have to eat a whole melon for this meal, but you are really going to want to have a lot of a single fruit or just a lot of fruit in general because you are going to get very hungry between now and the next meal. So, I mean, even at the end of this melon, I was getting pretty full, but you no, know, I want to finish those couple other pieces because I know in an hour or two, those are really going to pay off and come in handy. Yeah, that's the one thing with eating a bunch of a, a bunch of melon. You're going to be full right now, but it will take you to flight school. You're full now, but it will drop you off because your body will digest it so fast. So that's why you want to eat a bunch at this time to make sure you got a bunch of energy to tackle with every challenge you're going at. So just make sure also that if you if you do get hungry and you don't have and you didn't eat enough of, uh, of, of lunch and definitely have a couple pieces of fruit on you whether that's a couple bananas plums pears really really anything just really hold you over until that next meal so we'll see you guys soon for another one yeah see you at lunch take a picture from my phone what <laughs> all right, so we've had fruit all morning. It's been great, but now it's time for our cooked meal. Basically, right now we're going to be making a, a potato base with a very nice sauce on top. And I'll tell you right now, this is taking us a long time to perfect. And then this is really the last meal. My brother, my, my brother and I really need. Yeah, we eat this every single day. If you want to see exactly how how we put the sauce together, go to our recipe section, and we will have it sitting there exactly step by step on, on how we put it together. All right, Jay, let's get this made. All right, here we go. Let's take a look and see what's going on. Ooh, that sauce is cooking down nicely. As you can see, all the vegetables are commingling, commingling beautifully and having a nice party. But now we got to add the beans, because now we got some room. So here we go. We just took the can of beans, rinsed it off. And just boom, throw them in the sauce, stirring this in, stirring it in a little bit. Make sure we get the beans down to the bottom, get them cooking in there with everything. Yeah, just keep on stirring it, you know? Make sure all the flavors are uh, having a party together. And, and now that it's all stirred in, we're gonna have to add some spinach and kale. Boosh, and we're just gonna go throw it right on top. A bit more of a steaming effect with this one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> can't really mix in anymore. We can't really stir it in or it's just gonna spill everywhere. We're beyond so that point. Just gonna straight up max the pot out again. Boom, all those beans. Spinach and kale, close it down, put the capstone. Boom, keep letting it cook, and I think these potatoes got another about maybe 20 minutes. Yeah, 15, 20 minutes, so let's, let's just, just let it go. All right, so we have our potato layer with the veggies on top. We're talking so many veggies here. The smell is delicious, the sauce is great. Everything's coming in nice, eat potatoes on the bottom, vegetables on top. So, and if you want to see that see that recipe, check it out. We are we making a video on that, so here we go. This is going to take us a little bit to eat, but boy, are we going to feel nice and carved up afterwards. Here we go.
down the hatch no problem I'll say right now that was not hard to do I enjoyed every single bite of that the beets the avocado with the potato I mean all those all those veggies in there the beans the high protein I mean oh excuse me <laughs> that was really a delicious meal and uh, every single time you can just never get bored of this it just fills you up all the way it gives you exactly what you're looking for yeah and still there's a, and since there is about I don't know, four or five hours still in our day in about two hours uh, since we have some leftover sauce we're just going to do the exact same thing again uh, maybe cook up some uh, long grain brown rice to put it as a bed this time instead of the potato but other than that yeah that's the topping for everything all right, check it out, guys. We're back for more. I, I, it's been about two hours since we last ate this, and it's all I've been thinking about. I'm like that sauce, the sweet potato. I gotta get back to it. Absolutely. I mean, I just love being able to eat it to eat as much as I want every single time. And we're, we're gonna go to bed in a couple hours, and we've just been really stuffing our faces all day, just with fruits, high with high amounts of fruits in the morning, and just tons of carbs with the potatoes and vegetables. I mean, I've been full all day. I feel great. We and we eat this every single day. And we stay in great shape. Yeah, with that, start with that berry smoothie, moving right into the right into the right into the melon, and then for the second half of the day, just moving it into the starch foods, the potatoes, the rice, and then the huge vegetable top off. Oh, staying so full, having high energy all day. And I just want to say that the reason why that the reason why we eat so much is because it's clean carbs. I mean. I mean, it doesn't get much cleaner than fruit. It's really, there is nothing. You can eat as much fruit as you want, no problem. The potatoes and rice, super clean. The vegetables on top, super clean. This is a well-balanced, you're going to get tons of nutrients, and you can eat as much as you want. We're eating like eight pounds of potatoes a day. I mean, I mean, probably like four cups each of rice every single day and not gaining any extra body weight. And I just want to say how I've been full all day. I've been eating delicious food all day, and the vegan lifestyle is great. It's for me because it keep, I feel great, and I really get to eat, eat as much as I want. And I don't get to hurt anybody or anything in the process. Yeah, and it's perfect for your, for, perfect for your muscles for post-workout, pre, pre-workout for muscle recovery. Just you're feeling better the next day. This is exactly what this food does for you. So it's fruits and vegetables for life. It's, it's a high vegan intake for the win.